Yeah. What's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. I want to welcome you guys to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about Mike Wang and Mike Wayne only. Okay, I'm lying. We're talking about every single 2K dev on the roster, how their Twitter's been going, and we're going to be talking about badges inside of NBA 2K20. So, make sure you guys get 3,000 likes. I almost forgot to say that. Shout out to everybody that's supporting. Um, basically, in the last couple days, Mike Wayne, Twitter finger's been crazy. He replying to just about everybody. If you can't get a reply from Mike Wayne, make sure you tweet him and talk about badges. Talk about a badge that you might want. Talk about a something in the game that you might want inside the game and um most likely probably 70 percent of the time he'll probably respond to you but today we're going to be talking about badges that have been taken out of nba 2k badges that have returned new added badges and just an overall uh roundup of my last video where i told you guys about all the new badges that will be coming not per se the names but just the fact that badges were coming the whole entire gameplay blog and now that we have more information from Mike Wayne's tweets, the Czar's tweets, Zach Timmerman's tweets, Scott O'Gallagher's tweets, like these are a lot of people that you guys should be following. If you're not following, I'm sorry to hear that, but let's go ahead and dive into the video. All right, guys. So the first tweet that we're going to be talking about is for the Limitless Range badge. Now, if you guys remember, Limitless Range was always Limitless Range, but now Limitless Range is going to be balanced and reworked into something called Range Extender. It's basically going to boost your threes and also deep twos. So what I'm thinking is, will this badge now work Limitless Range and Mid Range Dead Eye and Limitless Range and Regular Dead Eye, Deep Range Dead Eye? Like I don't, I don't know what's going to happen. But let's go ahead and hop into the next tweet. All right, so one of the badges that we hate the most was Free Throw Ace. And now we have confirmation that Free Throw Ace is now gone from the game. It is no longer in the game. Now free throws are back to being an attribute that you can upgrade, which is really, really big for me because I can tell you guys now with the build that I'm making, play sharp. Um, yeah, I'm going to be dribbling. I'm going to be shooting, laying it up, dunking it maybe. I'm, I don't think I'm going to have any defense. But I'm definitely going to get my free throws up. Let's hop into the next tweet. Another useless badge that really, if anybody got, it didn't matter because it's not a badge that can help you in any situation. Getting a charge is literally all about timing, all about making sure you know what the offensive player is about to do before he does it. And charge card really didn't help us at all. I mean, on my pure lock, I had Hall of Fame charge card and it did nothing for me. But I did get a couple charges because I knew how some players would play. But let's go ahead and hop into the next tweet because who cares about charge card? All right, this is one of those badges that kind of scare me because if you guys remember in 2k19 there was kind of like an auto steal feature for uh builds with long wingspan but basically mike wang said an interceptor badge is coming back if you guys don't know what interceptor is that's basically being able to steal uh the ball out of passing lanes uh great for players like Allen iverson but most of all great for players with long wingspan but hopefully they tune it the right way but who knows what will happen man let's go ahead and hop into the next tweet the scariest badge of all time is making its return to NBA 2K20, and that badge right there is called Volume Shooter. A couple years ago, Volume Shooter basically worked off if you shot a lot of shots at a high percentage, you could be able to make more shots, but it had a downfall. If you couldn't hit shots, then you wouldn't make them. But basically, they're saying that this badge is back with better logic. It boosts your ratings if you can maintain your field goals per minute. So hopefully, with all the field goals that we attempt, we can keep making shots with volume shooter, and it has no negative effect to people shooting those shots. They really shot that? Let's go ahead and hop into the next tweet. All right, guys, this is one of those badges that is very scary to me um, only because it's called the quick first step badge. Now, I know that there's not a lot of detail, but Mike Wayne did talk about this in a later tweet. Basically, this is a badge that will enable people to get better blow by situations and be able to get off the first step much quicker than the defense can even catch up to them. So this is one of those badges that are pretty scary. Also, the simple fact that Mike Wang said that slashes currently need to be nerfed in NBA 2K20 build. But let's go ahead and hop into the next tweet. I'll talk more about that later. All right, so for everybody that loves post scores and that fear post scores in a post with their fades, um, a person asks his fade ace badge back, and he says that they have reworked it and called it deep phase badge that allows people to hit post fades from further out. Now, I'm hoping that 
this doesn't mean that people with difficult shots tireless shooter and stuff like that being able to hit fades while moving hopefully this is just a badge that helps people with post fades only all right because hey who doesn't want to see a shot creator shooting post fades from like beyond the foul line i'm just saying let's go ahead and hop into the next tweet all right guys this badge right here is really really big this is probably going to be one of those badges that i'm going to want um it's basically called giant slayer this will allow people to score at the rim amongst people that are rim protectors uh even just glass cleaners lockdowns anybody over 610 now with me I don't want to see this badge get out of hand where you have giant slayer you have contact finisher relentless finisher and somehow you get a posterizer on a pure rim protector only if they're out of position but if they block coming for that block and they got the perfect timing on you i, I just want to see you get stuffed if you six three you ain't supposed to be out here thinking you hot stuff man all right to all my off ball players people that have no dribble sense in the world um i might add myself in there one day um slippery off ball badge gives you more success with a new off ball jukes that they have in the game so basically for the players that love to work those back doors run around them wraps them screens things of that nature get free off their man without the ball for all you clay thompson players for all you steph curry players when he's running a, oh this is for you and I'm not mad about it so let's hop into the next tweet ever since i made my rebirth i've been pretty happy with um my pure lockdown so for all you defensive players out there clamps for perimeter locks and post move lockdown for paint defenders are something that's coming to nba 2k20 which means you pure rim protectors and you pure lockdowns you guys are gonna have some fun with these new badges i'm not sure how they are worked in i don't know if it's just something that pops up where they've reworked the hall of fame defensive stopper but hopefully it's something that is much better for the park i don't i don't know i don't i don't think that they should name something clamps inside like the regular my career setting let's get into the next tweet all right this is something big for all the post players out there i know that a lot of you guys had to rely on uh hop steps to the to the rack because the post game was so trash with hook shots so mike wing is calling a new badge that is coming back that used to be the post hook specialist it's called deep hooks so basically it's the kareem badge he said so basically if you want to hit post hooks from further out then you'll be able to do so i'm just hoping that it doesn't be op and that nobody can stop it after like a, a massive back down and then post hook hopefully you know paint protectors can uh save themselves <laughs> let's get into the next tweet a new badge that will help out dribblers and people who love to do moving shots is something that's called space creator so it's more effective for step back jumper so if the step back jumper honestly was taken out of 2k just because of the simple fact that nobody could hit step back jumpers a lot of people just relied on moving fades and stuff like that but hopefully step back jumpers can make a, a huge comeback for nba 2k20 because it's more effective with step back dribble moves as well so ankle breaker plus space creator you're gonna be cheese i'm just saying hey man you don't want to play twos with this build man <laughs> let's go ahead and hop into the next tweet all right, for all of my hustle rebounders out there, they have new badges coming called Rebound Chaser where it'll help you chase down long rebounds instead of jumping all over the place for them. Something that called Worm that helps you get around box outs and box that makes it tougher for worms. So basically, if you have Rebound Chaser, Worm, and Box, you'll be like one of the ultimate uh, rebounding machines out there. Just go ahead and go point that out, man. How many people are gonna go for all three of those badges and say, I'm the best rebounder in the league? but uh hopefully it's not cheese at my part uh let's hop into the next tweet posterizer is now gone 2k20 will have contact finisher that will help players posterize people but also help players that are smaller be able to finish at the rim with contact that's really good because relentless finisher is supposed to be tied into stamina and contact finisher is supposed to be tied into actually finishing at the rim so hopefully with both those badges hopefully i don't see a lot of cheese six eight pure slashers destroying everybody in their wake but like i said mike wang said in the current 2k20 build slashers need to be nerfed get scared let's hop into the next tweet for all my dribble gods out there handles for days is the badge that you will need to max out so if you want to be at the park dribbling for 24 seconds on the shot clock and putting up a shot with 0.4 left on the clock this is the badge for you 
hopefully it's not op but hopefully it is because i love seeing people dribble man i love seeing these youtube tutorials and videos man handles for days i love it let's move on to the next tweet because honestly i'm not a dribble guy so it doesn't apply to me microwave has been redesigned and has changed into hot start if you have this badge you can knock down your first jumper and you get a boost to all your shot ratings for a period of time the more shots you knock down without missing the longer you keep your boost one thing that i would love to know mike wang is what are those boosts for different builds will there be an indicator on screen will there be a timer timing down before it takes you to make your next shot i would love to know that please but let's go ahead and hop into the next tweet all right, this is really honestly a deep dive into a thread that I seen that kind of scared me. Basically, Mike Wayne was talking about how the shot meter is similar to 2K17 with new actual effects with like a quick flash, a water splash, and a paint splash. Now, basically, somebody asked, can everybody see it? And he said, yes, everyone can. No more lying on fake greens. But with everyone being able to see it, it scared me because he's saying currently in 2K20, you see exactly exactly what the shooter sees in online matches shot meter purposes green effect etc so it's scaring me because he also came out with a tweet saying that players will be able to turn that option off and have a greater success if they can hit the excellent window but honestly i don't want people to be able to know if i made a shot or not or if i half barred or anything because basically that tells the defense whether they have to run for a rebound whether they can run out on a break and rely on one person to get a rebound if everybody will just stay because they see that it's green honestly i love the effect of a person not knowing on the defensive side if i made a shot or not or if i'm if i'm gonna have the ability to hit the shot or not it scares me please rework that <laughs> please all right so acrobat um hopefully it is not taken out of the game but they did say that fancy footwork helps you get past defenders with advanced gathers on the floor and acrobat is still there to help you finish at the rim so i'm guessing if you euro floater or if you euro dunk or euro loop de loop or euro fillet something like that hopefully this fancy footwork badge will be able to get you around defenders and not lock you in so i should not see a pure lockdown with fancy footwork because uh my pure lockdown in 2k19 can't euro step to save his life just putting that out there <laughs> let's hop into the next tweet all right tireless score has been removed but its function has been broken up into two separate badges relentless finisher and tireless shooter so yes the badges still have four levels which confirms hall of fame badges are back that means you're going to have bronze silver gold hall of fizzle all right now with these two badges i believe that they did this so that one badge just doesn't become too op because if you do have tireless score and you're somebody that's out at the three-point line without any stamina you'll be able to still hit shots from limitless range so tireless shooter is the badge that you're going to have to worry about um let's hop into the next tweet all right pick and roll maestro is a badge that has been replaced by a needle threader which means it focuses more on passing if you guys remember in 2k19 pick and roll maestro helped you with your shot or with the completion of the pass but most of the people didn't use pick and roll maestro for passes because passing lanes were so broken and they just relied on using pick and roll and difficult shots to hit threes if they weren't a pure shooting build but hey pick and roll maestro uh needle threader Eh, I'm not really going to care for it too much. I mean, Dimer and uh, Lob City Passer plus Needle Threaders is going to make you a passing machine. But let's hop into the next tweet. And with that being said, this is the last tweet that I have for you guys. Dimer and Flashy Passer are separate, which means they are still in the game. So Dimer, Flashy Passer, Lob City Passer, and Needle Threader is a passer's like mecha, utopia, whatever the case may be. But i know that i told you guys i want to talk about this so let's go ahead and uh, address it i do not want players online on opposing teams to be able to see my shot meter if i'm at the park i do not want other players to be able to see my shot meter i don't care if you know people get to see me green and other people's faces and stuff like that i'm cool with my team being able to see it but honestly i don't even want my team to see it because i want everybody be to be able to crash the rebounds i want people to get in position for rebounds i don't want people just relying on the game system because with this 
what does it matter to be a glass cleaner and to get that takeover where you see where the ball is going you know what i mean because it's like now everybody just knows that it's going to miss and you just have the effect to be able to see where it's going to be off at you know what i mean i really don't care much for that also with the mike wayne tweet about the slashers and the current bill needing to be nerfed i'm guessing that quick uh first step contact finisher relentless finisher are kind of making slashes a little bit op so hopefully before the game drops or with the day one patch they can simply nerf slashes a little bit more but honestly i haven't played the game i've heard from different sources that certain players in the game that have those slashing abilities like people who have won dunk contest championships if that makes any more sense to you guys or players who have competed in the dunk contest before those players are currently unstoppable in the paint all right and when i mean unstoppable i mean excessive blow bys, excessive posterizer animations but hey slasher gang unite even though i'm gonna be making a play sharp next year all right guys i hope you enjoyed your time here i didn't mean it to keep you guys too long but we had to go over these things man we had to break things down there are a couple things that i don't like that i seen mike wayne tweet but there are things that i understand to create some balance inside the game I hope to see you guys' comments inside the comment section. Make sure you do so. Um, the road to a million is definitely moving, man. I appreciate everybody who's been subscribing. If you're not subscribed, make sure you do so. Turn on that bell. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace. Yeah. You can't watch this whole video without subscribing.